Hey there, welcome to another episode of Legends with a Roy. <laughs> Today I'm excited to tell you another story about Billy Bob the Knight. This one starts as Billy Bob was taking a bath. A space bath, I was taking a bath. All about a Saturday night. A rubber tub, I just relaxing in the tub, thinking everything was... Someone's at the door. So Billy Bob made his way over to the door and he opened it. And there before him was Stanley the Skunk and Porky the Porcupine. <laughs> he wasn't a pig. A lot of people think he is, but he wasn't. And Stanley said, Billy Bob, we need your help. And Porky said, oh yes we do. Oh, Billy Bob, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I went to make a little sandwich for a nice little afternoon snack to have with my tea. And you know, I love cheese. I like doing cheese sandwiches. You know, get some nice bread, maybe like a sourdough or some potato bread or, you know, something like that. And I get some cheese with it. Maybe it's cheddar, maybe it's Harrisburg or mozzarella. <laughs> Or, you know, maybe it's even like Kobe Jack or even a Gouda. But I went to get the cheese and it was gone. All of it. And I mean, I had a lot of cheese. I bought it in wheels and they were on about this big. And uh, I had five of them, but they were all gone. I don't even know what to do. Billy Bob said, hmm. That is indeed not good. Let's go to your house and look at the scene of the crime. So they got to the house and there they saw outside there was no like cheese crumbs or anything like that. But there was something else. There were these little rivets in the ground about the size of each one of the cheeses. But there were only three of them. Not five. There were two like this and one like this. And Billy Bob said, hmm. But then he noticed that the ones on the sides were deeper than the one in the middle. And he realized he must have rolled, or whoever stole it must have rolled, two cheeses on each side and one in the middle. So they set off following the rivets until they arrived at a house they'd never quite seen before. Now the house was quite small. It was only probably about, you know, this big. But it was odd because none of them could remember seeing it. And oddly enough, the house was made of cheese. Cheese? Wait a second. Maybe this was Porky's cheese. So Billy Bob knocked on the door. <laughs> It wasn't very loud because, you know, cheese, unless it's one of the hard ones, it's, you know, it doesn't really, like, knock much. But it just gives, you know. But anyways, out stepped a little creature. And it said, hmm, Billy Bob, what are you doing? And Billy Bob said, how do you know my name? And he said, oh, truth is, Billy Bob, there aren't many knights around here that would ever be able to find me. And I figured that if any knights did, it would be you, Billy Bob, because I've been following you. I've been trying to figure out how to get the better of you, but I see I didn't. And Billy Bob said, so you stole the cheese? He said, yes, I did. I stole it. Well, it's more like borrowed it. Uh, well, I guess I stole it, but anyways. I wanted to make a house of cheese, and I figured that this porcupine did not need all the cheese. You see, I'm a mouse, and mice love cheese. It's kind of like a passion to us. We just see it, and we want to eat it, or make houses out of it. So I took it, and now that I see you all, I feel kind of bad. But what's done is done, I suppose. So, Billy Bob, is it time for us to fight? Billy Bob looked at the mouse and he was like, I, I don't think so. 
why don't we find a way for you to give the cheese back to Porky? And Miles said, that was his name, that is, well, possibly I could, but the truth is, I don't have a house that I can live in. So I built this house of cheese. And, well, I quite like cheese, and I'm not sure I can give it up. Billy Bob said, well, we might be able to help you out. Porky, don't you have a little out, uh, like a, a house outside your house, like a shed that he could live in? And Porky was like, yes, I do, but I don't know. This guy stole my cheese. That's a pretty violent offense. I mean, stealing one man's cheese is quite dire. And Billy Bob said, I agree. It is a big deal to steal cheese, but if he agrees to give it back and you still get to have your cheese, then maybe you could forgive him? And Porky said, Maybe. Although, how did you get it over here, Miles? And Miles said, Well, you see, what I did is I made an automobile. And they were all like, what's that? And he said, well, what it is, is it has a couple tires and it has an engine. <laughs> For the engine, I actually made like a wheel that I would run in. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. I knew a hamster once who had one of those. But anyways, I would run it and then I would be able to move and it would drive just like a carriage. And we're like, whoa, that's pretty impressive. Well, look, here's the deal, Miles. And this is Porky. Porky said, here's the deal, Miles. Maybe what we should do is you can come on over and live in my shed. <laughs> and if you help me out by making different contraptions like that, I'll give you all the cheese you can eat. And Miles was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Let's work on getting all this back to your house, Porky. <laughs> so anyways, they took all the cheese back. They put it on the carriage automobile thing and it was back in no time. And everybody was happy, <laughs> especially Porky. Cause you know, Miles helped him out with stuff. Like he made this thing that washed the dishes for Miles. It was quite impressive. And, um, I mean, that washed the dishes for Porky. Oh dear, I keep seeing everybody's names different. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> but anyways, so Miles settled in at the little shed outside of Porky's house. And Billy Bob went home and Stanley went home. And you know, it actually turned out that Miles was a great addition to Porky's house. He was a great help and he ate a lot of cheese. <laughs> Anyways, Billy Bob went home and he decided it was time for a little rest. What was that? Well, that's a story for a different day. Well, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Legends with Elroy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.